Hi, I'm John. I work at one of our Apple retail stores, and I'll be taking you through this guided tour of Leopard, the brand new release of Mac OS X. Leopard includes an incredible collection of new features and technologies that will let you have more fun and be more productive no matter how you use your Mac. With its gorgeous new desktop, cover flow right in the finder, quick look, and time machine, you'll be amazed by what you can do with your Mac. Leopard is pre-installed on all new Macs, and of course you can easily upgrade your existing Mac that was made in the last several years. The Apple website has the detailed system requirements. I'm going to show you Leopard on an iMac, but Leopard was designed to run great on both desktops and notebooks alike. Leopard is the most impressive upgrade of Mac OS X yet with over 300 new features. And now I'd like to give you a brief tour of some of the most exciting ones. So let's take a look. The very first thing you'll notice about Leopard is the new look of the desktop. It has a semi-transparent menu and a reflective 3D dock which perfectly frames your desktop picture. Whether you use one of the beautiful built-in pictures or customize it with an image of your own. The dock isn't just about new looks, it has a great new feature called Stacks. A stack is a collection of icons that instantly expand when you click on it. For example, this is my download stack which contains everything that I've downloaded recently. All I have to do is click and my downloads fan out automatically. By default, stacks are organized to show the most recent items closest to the dock so they are the most easy to get to. So let me open up Safari and bring up this PDF. When I move the mouse to the bottom of the window, a new heads up display appears and I can download the PDF using this icon here. As soon as the download is finished, the icon for the PDF bounces on the dock and it appears first on the stack when I expand it. To open it, just click on it. So with stacks, instead of having icons cluttering up your desktop, downloads from Safari, file transfers from iChat, and saved attachments from Mail will be now saved to your download stack, which not only makes downloads really easy to find, but it keeps your desktop nice and tidy as well. If a stack has too many items to show fanning out, it displays them in a grid. Here's an example of a stack with all of my applications. And again, opening something is as easy as a click. And of course you can create your own stacks too. Here's a folder for a vacation I'm planning. And with the simple drag and drop, I've created my own stack. You have a lot of control over how a stack behaves. Just click and hold the mouse button down on the stack and a menu will appear giving you several options. You can set your stack to sort by name, date added, date modified, date created, or kind. You can also choose how to view your stack. Automatic will display the items in your stack as a fan unless you have a lot of items, in which case it will automatically display them as a grid. Or if you prefer, you can choose to have a stack always be displayed as a fan or as a grid. Now I've set up my stack just the way I want, and I can get to any file with just a single click. Let's take a look at some of the other big changes to the Leopard desktop. The windows of all applications now share the same consistent, elegant look. Also, check out how the drop shadow of the active window really makes it pop out of the screen, so at a glance you can instantly find the active window. Now let me show you the new Finder. The Finder is the built-in application that lets you organize and find your files, and now the Leopard Finder really makes it easy for you to visually flip through your documents and find exactly what you're looking for by using CoverFlow. Let's take a look. Notice there are now four choices of view types in the Finder toolbar. Of course, there's Icon View, List View, and Column View. And here's the new CoverFlow view. Click it and you get high resolution previews of your documents. From images, to PDF, to keynote presentations, to Word and Excel documents. You'll be amazed at how easy and fun it is to visually flip through your documents just like flipping through album artwork in iTunes. And CoverFlow lets you see more than just the first page of a multi-page PDF or the first slide in a keynote presentation. Just click on the arrows and you can scan back and forth through your document right in the Finder. You can even play movies right within CoverFlow. The Finder includes a new and improved sidebar that makes it even easier to access files and folders on your own Mac 
as well as on shared computers on your local network. The redesigned sidebar should instantly be familiar to anyone that uses iTunes. Starting at the top, the first section is called Devices and shows any hard drives, USB storage, and even your iDisk from .Mac. Just click on an icon and you'll see the first level of files and folders that are available. If you don't browse devices frequently, then just collapse the section by clicking on the triangle symbol. Next, the Shared section lets you access any shared Mac or PC on your local network. Home networking has never been so easy. To access a shared computer, like Tracy's MacBook here, just click it. By default, you'll only see the public folder that is shared for guests. But by pressing the Connect As button, you can type in a username and password, which will give you more access to the files available on that computer. And you can even browse and cover flow right over the network. Here's the file that I want, and all I have to do is drag it from Tracy's MacBook to my Mac like this. And again, this works for accessing files on both Macs and PCs alike. If you are a .Mac member, you can even access your Macs that aren't directly on your local network. All you have to do is open up System Preferences, select the .Mac icon, and go to the Back to My Mac tab. This is exceptionally helpful if you're at work or on the road and need access to your files from your Mac at home. Spotlight is even more powerful than Leopard, and when used from the Finder, it lets you not only search your Mac, but any Mac in your home network. Let's say that I'm looking for documents about a bicycle I'm thinking about buying. Just type bicycle in the Finder search field. I don't see what I'm looking for, so it must be on a different Mac. No problem, because with Leopard, I can click on the Shared button and Spotlight will search across any shared Mac that I have access to. There it is. The file was found on the family iMac. The sidebar also has a section called Places. These are folders you use frequently, so you can get to them with a single click. You can rearrange these folders, add new ones, or remove them with ease. And this final section is called Search For. These are predefined searches that let you instantly see anything you've worked on today, yesterday, or the past week. It also lets you view all of the images, movies, or documents on your Mac with a single click. And the great thing is that you can create your own search as well. Just choose Find in the File menu build your search, and press the Save button. Now I can find all of my presentations with a single click in the sidebar. With CoverFlow and the new sidebar, the Finder in Leopard is the easiest way to navigate all the documents you'll deal with every day. Imagine being able to instantly view the contents of your documents without opening the application that created them. Well, that's what Quick Look is all about. Another great new feature in Leopard. Let's see how it works. Here in the Finder, I have several different documents. The Finder now shows great looking thumbnail icons that reflect the content of the document. But if you want to get an even better look, just press the Quick Look icon or press the spacebar. Instantly, the Quick Look window opens showing your document. You can resize the window, scroll through multi page documents, and even go full screen. And it works great in CoverFlow. Quick Look understands many different types of files. Here are some of the more popular ones. Images like this JPEG. PDFs like this brochure. Microsoft Office documents like this Excel spreadsheet. iWork files like this Pages document. Even media files like this QuickTime movie. So that's Quick 